Tesla is making it easier for you to get a new car from them. The company is releasing video of one of the cars delivering itself to its new owner. Tesla CEO Elon Musk said the car drove from the factory in Austin, Texas to its new owner's home 30 minutes away, all by itself. No people in the car, nobody operating it remotely at any point. Tesla is also unveiling its venture into a new era of self-driving industry, the Tesla Robo Taxi. NBC's Gotti Schwartz has more. After years of hype. I feel very confident predicting uh, autonomous robo taxis for Tesla next year. Tesla's robo taxi is finally hitting the streets. All right, we're gonna start the. Ooh, start the yeah, baby. Let's go. Let's go, baby. The company debuting its self driving car service this week in Austin. Tesla saying there's about 20 cars available right now for a flat fee of $4.20, and they cover about a five mile radius. Getting into the robo taxi. This is insane. All right, so we are going to. Ordering a robo taxi is just like ordering an Uber or a Lyft. There's an app where you enter your pickup location and destination, except this time there's no one behind the wheel. Are you serious? There's no one driving this Tesla? For now, there is a company employee sitting in the passenger seat to make sure things go smoothly, which for a lot of riders did. The oh. robo taxi just pulled over for the ambulance. And back on the road. And it's back on the road. But for some, there were some hiccups. It looks like we got dropped off right here at the corner. Oh, let's see. Let's see how it handles this. Oh, it's important now. This is Tesla Robo Taxi support. How may I help you? Yeah, we were just trying to see the pullover function um, since we were closer to the car. I think, though, unfortunately, we're in traffic right now. All of it comes as Tesla tries to catch up to Waymo, a spinoff of Google that first launched its driverless service in 2020. The Waymo fleet counting over 250,000 rides a week in several major cities. And while the two offer similar services, UT Austin professor Kara Cockleman says the big difference is in the tech. Tesla uses cameras only, not even radar on their vehicles, whereas the other self-driving vehicle companies use LiDAR, which is light detection and ranging. So it's more expensive and it gives them more confidence, but they don't have the kind of track record mass producing vehicles that Tesla has. Think of it like this. Tesla's camera only system interprets the world in 2D with a whole lot of AI, while Waymo's LiDAR uses lasers to create a 3D map of the environment. Two radically different visions for the future of driving, but for now, sharing the road with each other and the rest of us, whether we're riding in them or not. I would say, you know, the large scale deployment for autonomous vehicle uh, is imminent. Uh, it's 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 going to happen.